that are still in default and haven't had to move out of their houses for a whole variety of reasons. And uh, to Julie's point, what they were doing is they were going in default and stopped making their payments. Maybe they maybe they couldn't make their a payment, but in all actuality, they just stopped making their payment because they knew they could live in the house for free. That did happen, is happening. So fast forward. Now these people are going to be uh, have equity in their houses. In some cases, like Reno, they're going to have a lot of equity in their houses, so they can actually sell the house. You know, the a good skilled agent is going to have to you know negotiate, or an attorney is going to have to negotiate with the lenders. Usually, there's two. And then that seller is going to be able to walk away selling the house on the retail market with a realtor, with you, if you know how to do this. And uh, the seller is going to walk away with the check and the, the listing agent is going to walk away, obviously, with the check and as well the buyer's agent. Moral of the story here is, is that you have to learn how to go after sellers in this market. And, you know, everyone's saying, well, when's the market going to improve? I'll tell you, you know, when's there going to be more inventory for sale? When there's more agents that know how to actually create the listing inventory is the answer. That's right. We're all hoping and praying that builders are going to turn around and start building more. Well, they're going to eventually, but it's not going to be in the price ranges that you think that they should be building in because they're not going to make enough profit because the expenses of everything have gone through the roof. And we're just getting started. Yeah, well, it all comes back to supply and demand, doesn't it, Mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Now, uh, before you guys start thinking, oh, evidence of foreclosure, keep in mind that Dan makes hundreds of calls a week Mm -hmm. and maybe has uncovered two of these possibilities. So they are randomly out there. But the difference between somebody like Dan and, and a lot of the agents that never dealt with that is that he thinks to himself, I'm going to at least run the numbers and give this person an option. Well, he knows how to help them. Exactly. He has Versus a skill how many set. agents say they hear upside down, foreclosure, distress, I, know, I can't help them. Right. You know? Well, I mean, they don't even know what to do. They don't even they know what those really words know mean. What it right. Is. Upside down. What exactly. do you mean you're upside down? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah. don't worry well, about it because most of you aren't going to have to deal with much of that. But the point in that story is help people where they are. Well, you might have to deal with a lot of it depending on your market, right? That's I mean, if you're, if you're still in – I'll give you an example. If you're mm-hmm. in New York State – I promise you that there's thousands of people basically that are in uh, the situation that Dan experienced out in Reno. So if you're in New York mm-hmm. State, you're going to find tons, thousands potentially of people that are in various stages of default that have equity that could actually get their house out of default and sell the house, and you could help them do that. No, You think there's very many other agents that are calling the sellers and telling them how they can retail the house and walk away with the check? They're getting calls. The sellers are probably getting calls and letters from wholesalers, from flippers, from all these well, other even types. from buyers door knocking for themselves. Exactly. So you have to be proactive in these situations, and that's one of the things. It's you know one of the many things that we teach you. Different you know, twenty different lead sources for generating listing leads. If you want to learn how to be a listing.